Hi folks, welcome to another one of our short videos. Um, today I want to take you around some of the modifications we've just made to this VW Caddy. Um, we do a lot of these, a little bit sm smaller than a transporter obviously, but nevertheless still a very popular vehicle. So what we've done in here is soundproof the doors, which we would always do when we're upgrading the Hi-Fi. And in fact, we've added all some Prima front components in this vehicle. So we've had a six and a half inch woofer at the bottom, We've added a tweeter at the top, so this vehicle didn't have a tweeter at all to start, it just had a grill at the top. So there's a really dull, low down sound, really muffled in the bottom of the door, no detail. Loads of panel resonance, which is fairly standard stuff really, um, but actually we've soundproofed the doors with our three layer soundproofing system. So the doors, the outer skins and the frame. So it's now a really rigid, acoustically dead environment for the speaker, um, which allows it to work much better. We've added a Pioneer, doubled in unit with a ProFit kit, which is quite funky. Um, steering wheel control interface, so we've got the steering wheel controls working again with the new radio. Um, this is what we call a ProFit kit, so you've got this lovely surround here. You don't see the discussion around the radio, so it's quite a trick. Um, quite a basic Pioneer unit, doesn't need to be, you know, tons of money. Kind of 350 quid-ish, um, and that buys you a radio with touchscreen, seven inch touchscreen. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Android Auto, Android Auto, Dab, Bluetooth, Bluetooth Audio, streaming, the works. Um, we've utilised the factory antenna in this car, so no error in the glass. We've used a factory antenna because it's a late model. And we've also added a reverse camera, so it's a pretty handy thing. It's a van, so you can't see out the back. So I'm just going to pop that into reverse. And as you can see, we've got a crystal clear image of everything behind the vehicle there. Drop it back out again. Just swing around here. We've also added a subwoofer. This is an Eaton USB 8, it's an eight inch subwoofer. As you can see, we've soundproofed the floor area where we've installed the subwoofer. Again, this is to stop resonance. If you look carefully, um, it's a bit difficult to see, but you'll, you'll see that we've actually um, bonded down an MDF plate and then we've screwed the subwoofer to the plate. So that gives us a more rigid baffle. It also means we don't perforate the shell of the car, which we try and avoid at all costs. Um, and gives us a, a more rigid baffle to mount the speaker to. It doesn't show, I've popped the seat all the way forward just to demonstrate the fact that um, the subwoofer's in there, but actually when we put the seat back in a normal position, you can't see anything at all. So there you go. It's a Caddy, so this system would fit a Caddy, Caddy Max, would fit a T6, T5. Um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DAB, Bluetooth, audio upgrade, new front speakers, mids, tweeters, soundproofing, reverse camera and a compact subwoofer. As always, or as we're now starting to do, I'll add a complete kit list at the bottom of this um, video so you can see everything that's gone into it. If you're interested in something similar, just give us a call or drop us an email or just jump on our website or of course pop into the showroom. We've got lots of equipment here on demo. I'll just show you the, the shop quickly because somebody asked me about the building. So as you can see, we've got a pretty funky building here. We've got a workshop at one end and we've got a showroom at the other. Um, we've got lots of kit on demonstration, lots of stuff you can listen to. We've also generally always got at least two demo cars here. So there you go. If you've liked the video, please uh, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video.